my teammates just been finding me, and um, I've been putting in a little bit more time, so uh, the results are starting to come. But all credit to my teammates for finding me and just putting me in great positions. Could this team take a while to, to sort of find itself as a team? Because it seems like everything's kind of working together now. And there for a while, I don't, I don't think it was uh, by design, but you just had so many new parts. Injuries would come in. That would change playing time. Did it just take longer than you expected, maybe? Yeah, it took us a little while. Um, you know, we faced a lot of adversity, and, you know, we just had a lot of things that we had to figure out. And um, it looks like we're starting to finally, you know, figure it out. You know, um, I think everybody's bought in to, you know, how we have to do things, and it's starting to pay off for us. Is there a sense of understanding in the locker room how important this week is? Um, we haven't talked about it yet, um, but I think that we all do know that this is an important week for us. So, um, but I don't think that it's going to change anything we do. You know, we kind of been having the same preparation every week. So I think that we're just going to keep continuing to do what we do. And if we do what we do, then the results will come. All right. Have you all gotten past feeling any pressure? Um, I wouldn't even say that we – well, I, I haven't I, – I don't think that we felt pressure. Um, you know, things were kind of a little, a little shaky at first, but um, I don't think it was ever any, like, pressure, you know, because it, it is a high standard here, and we know we have to perform to, you know, the standard, and, and you know, I don't think that there was any pressure. So I don't, I don't necessarily think it was pressure. You're a lot like Jeffrey Moss, just mathematically. Both of y'all's threes have really found the basket since January. Is there anything particular that you changed coming back from Christmas, or is it just the clean slate mentality? Yeah, I, um, I definitely came back from uh, from Christmas with a, a clean slate mentality. But um, just putting in a little bit more time, like you know, just coming in, working out, working out more, and just trying to do more, and um, that's really played off for me personally. But Moss has been doing it for three, four years now. So, um, no, Moss started off shaky, but I, I don't think anybody in the locker room ever had any doubts that he wasn't going to pick it up. So I'm real happy to see that. Like, it's, it's really paying off for him, how he wants it to pay off. Coaches said a lot of these roster changes will, have also not been benchings at all, just moving parts. Do you guys feel like that as the game's going, that it just really doesn't even matter anymore? Just all seven, seven and a half guys getting out there and – Getting it done. Yeah, I mean, as long as we get the job done, I don't think anybody in our locker room really cares about, you know, the starting or not starting, the playing a lot or not playing a lot. At this point, it's all about winning and sending the seniors out the right way. So I don't think anybody has been really concerned about that. I heard that from DeMarcus the other night on the post game show. He talked about sending the seniors out the right way. And uh, I guess that. That's what you want to try to do each and every year. You've seen that over the last few seasons. Uh, but I hadn't heard much of that talk until the last week or two. It, it seems as if why, that's one of the reasons this team's come together. That's one of the common goals to do that. Yeah. Um, we might have, we, I, I know we haven't really might, – might not have said it much in the media, but we, are, we have been saying that. And, um, that's been the, the motto since I got here with Dexter. Um, obviously, we want to send – you know, Sap, Farrell, and, and Jarvis out the right way last year. And this year, we want to do it for Pep, Wayne, and Moss. And, you know, we kind of just want to keep that going, you know. I, hopefully next year, the guys will want to, you know, send the scenes out the right way next year. So it's kind of one of those things where, um, you know, we just rally around the older guys who've been here who, you know, deserve it. The road hasn't been too kind to you all this season, but you've won the last three. What does that do going into Thursday? Um... I don't even think that we're trying to too much focus on the road. You know, I think that if, um, you know, we just come in and do what Coach has asked us to do and, you know, prepare the right way all week, then home or road game, it won't matter. I, think, I feel like we'll still get the job done. About Thursday's game, uh, Cornell Johnson, their uh, little point guard, when he has good games, they have good games. And uh, so far, the Racers last year and this season, have controlled him in a, in a pretty good manner. Uh, Y'all feel he's maybe one of the keys at uh, getting a win Thursday night? Yeah, um, no, he's a very good player. And um, whoever's guarding him will have to get the job done. And um, yeah, he's like the, you know, he's the energy on their team. You know, when he's playing good, they're all, they always play good. So um, whoever coach puts on him will have to step up to the plate and just get the job done. 
also talk about G. McGee the other night. Uh, having to play so much at point guard, he had Colbert out with the injury, he had Jones out, uh, and G adjusted as well as he could, had a couple of uh, uh, possessions where he may have struggled, but uh, it's, it's a whatever I can do to help the team mentality is what you see, not just out of him, but from everybody. Yeah, G, he could play, you know, all positions from one through four, and um, he's very versatile, and um, that, that really helped us out a lot that, you know, he even knew plays from the point position, and, you know, it was very good that he could come in and, you know, play the point. You know, he played the point and guarded the four. You know, that was big for us. And it's always good to have a guy who could do those multiple things. He's almost like our Draymond Green type, you know what I'm saying, just where he could do multiple things.